Welcome to Biology with Deepika and in this video we will be learning about reproduction in algae. This video will be very helpful for BSc Botany students and for NEET preparation students. So let's see in details the reproduction in algae. Reproduction in algae can be divided into three type of methods, vegetative method, asexual type of reproduction and sexual type of reproduction. The propagation in algae takes place by vegetative method, asexual and sexual methods. The first one is vegetative method of reproduction in algae. First one is the binary fission. This is uh, the type of fission in which the parent cell divides into two identical daughter cells and where the duplication of genetic material takes place and each cell has the potential to grow to the size of the original cell. So this is binary fission and we can found in euglena, blue green algae or in otherwise known as BGA and diatoms. The second type of reproduction or asex vegetative method of reproduction in algae is fragmentation. In this type of reproduction is found in filamentous algae or in spirogyra we can found here it's the uh, fragmentation is taking place here is the septa and the two and here the septa uh, is formed and the cell divides here one part this one part so this type of is known as fragmentation the third type of vegetative method is tuber formation it is formed in rhizoids of cara and cladophora here uh, looks like this tuber formation. The fourth type is hormogone formation. Hormogones, it is found in blue green algae. It is only found in blue green algae. Under unfavorable condition, trichome breaks into motile segment of varying length called hormogonia. Here we can see hormogones. Here at the heterocyst is there and here the the uh, cell uh, breaks the filament breaks and and the cell divides these are short length filaments hormogones are short length filaments they develop into larger length by vegetative reproduction heterocysts are the place where the filaments break into hormogones this is the heterocyst i just mentioned the now where the cell um, where the filament breaks and hormogones are produced they may be formed due to breakage of filament or due to decay of filament so this is all about vegetative method of reproduction in algae next we will move on to the asexual method of reproduction in algae in this method the cells taking part in reproduction undergo changes to form structures which germinate to give rise to new plants. The chromosome number remains the same to that of the parent cell as no meiosis takes place. The different types of asexual reproduction in algae are, the number one is juice spores. Here we can see how juice spore look like. This is a spore, it has a flagella formed during favorable condition and are flagellated. It has flagella, it is a juice spore. Biflagellated is found in Chlamydomonas and quadriflagellated is found in Eulothrix. Flagella can be found also laterally in Ectocarpus. These examples are important. The second type is Aplanospore. These are Aplanospore. These are formed during favorable condition and these are non-motile. As we can see in this picture, they don't have flagella. So they are non-motile and they are non-resting spores. Here. These are spores, we can see. These are aplanospores. They are non-motile and are non-resting spores. We can found this in Eulothrix. Eulothrix is the example. The next we will is exam, a method is palmela stage. In semi-dry condition, around aplanospores, mucilage is secreted. Here we can see in this picture, this is the same aplanospore, but in semi-dry condition, around the aplanospores, some mucilage are secreted. We can see in this picture. This is known as palmella stage. For example, we can see the acer chlamydomonas. The next type of asexual reproduction is hypnospore. 
Under unfavorable condition, the protoplasm shrink. Here we can see in this picture, hypnospore. The protoplasm shrink and a thick wall is secreted around the around is known as hypnospore. This undergo long resting condition. In one cell, only one hypnospore forms. For example, pediastrum. Pediastrum is the example. Then the uh, next type of a sexual method of reproduction is akinets. Here we can say then akinets. This is the akinets picture. Under unfavorable condition, the vegetative cell develop into thick walled spore like structure with abundant food. This and they have thick wall spore like so they are thick walled. They have thick wall. Under unfavorable condition, the thick vegetative cell develop into thick wall spore like structure with abundant food. This, for example, we can found this in cladophora. The next type of asexual reproduction is autospore. These are the resting spores which starts germination with the parent body which is known as precocious germination. Each autospore is surrounded by distinct cell wall. Their uh, germination starts within the parent body so each autospore is surrounded by a distinct cell wall they have their own distinct cell wall this is known as autospore for example we can find this in chlorella next step is tetraspore diploid plant of some algae form four planospores by meiosis called as tetraspore for example polysiphonia when four planospore are formed by meiosis they are known as tetraspore. And meospores are what? These are actually juice spores formed by meiosis. For example, in ectocarpus. These examples are important. So, tetraspores and meospores are two asexual spores formed by meiosis. This is an important term, statement. Um, tetraspores and meospores are the two asexual spores formed by meiosis. Then are oxospores. These are special non-motile spores formed only in diatoms. These are special non-motile spores. Means they don't have flagella. They are formed only in diatoms. Hormocysts. These are unique to myxomycy or the blue-green algae formed by fragmentation of filament during unfavorable condition. These are hormocysts. These are unique to myxomycy or blue-green algae. The next type is a gigospore. These are actually gametes which could not fuse due to some reasons and undergo resting period under favorable condition may form a new filament. We can see this in Spirogyra. Spirogyra is an example in which a zygospore is found. So this is all about the asexual method of reproduction in algae. Then we will move on to the sexual reproduction in algae. The sexual reproduction in algae occurs by two methods. First is planogamy. The other one is a planogamy. The planogamy can be divided into three form, three types known as isogamy, and isogamy, and oogamy. The haploid gametes fuse to form diploid zygote. Meiosis occurs during germination of zygote, and a new plant is a haploid gametophyte. Based on the size and movement of gametes, based on the size and the movement of gametes, sexual reproduction have been recognized. The planogamy is can be of three types. First one is isogamy. Here we can see this picture. This is isogamy. Iso means same. Here, fusion of morphologically flagellated identical gametes. There, Male and female gametes are morphologically same, identical gametes and physiologically different. For example, in Chlamydomonas, Eulothrix, Cladophora, etc. The second one is anisogamy. Here, anisogamy means they, they both are not of the same size, they are not similar, they are different. Both gametes are motile, but males are smaller. Here, males are smaller or microgamete. They are known as microgamete and females are larger. For example, in Chlamydomonas brawny and ectocarpus. The third type of reproduction is oogamy. 
only male gametes are flagellated and females are non motile here we can see the male gametes has flagella they are flagellated and the female gamete is non motile for example we can form this in oidogonium the most primitive method is isogamy and the most advanced type of sexual reproduction is ugam so this is all about planogamy next we will move on to a planogamy most algae reproduce by flagellated gametes but in some algae like spirogyra diatoms etc gametes lack flagella and are called aplanogametes this gametes fuse by conjugation so this is all about the sex, uh, reproduction in algae and there are some takeaways from my video in this session the type of chloroplast the shapes of the chloroplast in different algae is very important in point of view of exams direct question come with this points the cup shaped chloroplast is found in chlamydomonas c or girdle shaped chloroplast is found in eulothrix discoid shaped chloroplast is found in chara and centric diatoms parietal shaped chloroplast is found in red algae reticulate shaped chloroplast is found in oidogonium spiral or ribbon shaped chloroplast is found in spirogyra and stilette shaped chloroplast is found in zygnema so this is all about today's video thank you for watching my video and do like share and comment if you like my video and please subscribe for my upcoming videos thank you so much